Alright, let's talk to small Bertha, and she is small. Hey, pal. Mister, I have to talk to you. I got 14 and a half caps. I want to hire you. I may be able to help, but I don't want your caps. They're right about you, they say. But if you help, you'll get paid. Harbormen don't belong on this dock. If we keep clinging here, we'll bleed out and die. To get better, to grow stronger, we need land. Echo Lake Lumber Mill has power lines that connect to the old wind farm. If you clear the land, harbormen can wire up the condensers. Make it safe from the fog. You know, you're quite a remarkable girl. If you say so. I just don't want this pier to kill what's left of my kin. I know the money's a joke. But if my friends can resettle, I'm sure they'd do anything for you. And oh, you big. Please, help. Turn back the fog. Okay, secure Echo Lake Lumber. That's what we do. Where is Echo Lake Lumber? Data. Turn back the fog. Put up the map. Where is the... Where is Echo Lake Lumber? It's right there. Ah, just north of Adam Spring. The glowing grove. Getting closer. Uh, I mean, Adam Spring, you'd have to go straight across here. That's a little bit tucked in and around. Which way you want to go? Eh, we'll, we'll take this and cut across. Maybe we'll cut across the water. Wolves! It's a pretty ugly wolf. A little spiny. Of course, that could be just his fur. Maybe it's got like a mohawk. Okay, we're only 96 clicks from in here. And of course, let's let's go to um. How's Matt suit? Is this it? This is, this looks like a sawmill. The Lake Lumber. No, 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 we're not doing that. Okay, so. What's the big deal? What's here? I don't even know. Not looking like a lot. Not seeing a lot. Ha! All right, where's the um Where's the workshop? I'm assuming this is a workshop kind of deal. There it is. Till the fog is cleared. Okay, something's eating, uh... Slows them down if you blow their legs off. What's that? Really echoes. Baby rail, okay. too close. I'm my own worst enemy. Back to normal. What the heck? Wow, what's blew up? Ah, more of them. 
Legs be gone. Hard to chase you with no legs, isn't it? And coolant and duct tape and stuffs and a gear and more stuffs and yeah, let's. It's all junk that's gonna go into building this place up anyway. A couple bags of cement. The last radius game. Some aluminium. Kitchen scales. Three more money. A flip lighter. Kill everything? I'm guessing not. I mean, I think we, I think we still have the, we still have to secure it. It hasn't cleared. Hello. Anybody else here? You know, want to limp? if I knew exactly what the, the full range of the place was. How many places do I have to wander through and have stuff jump out at me? Anything around there? Can I wake anybody up? Fog ghoul, where? Yeah, a fog ghoul should be pretty tough, right? Is he? I don't even see him. I'm doing the world a service. Well, I mean, you could shoot the guy. That'd be great, I am. I got some radars here. Is there above us? Well, how do we get up there? Stairs, stairs, and a door. Okay, we need to unlock the. Sweet. Lights out for you. And we go up again. And say good night. We killed them all. The harvester. I don't even know what that was. We harvested it too quickly. Putrid glowing one. Gangrenous feral. Duffel bag. Malcolm. Who the heck are you? Excuse me. You got him. You got them shambles, all dead. <laughs> Fog's quiet. The land's mine again. <sighs> For what you done, you can leave. Leave before I need to go a hunting and kill. Who are you? My name. My name. It's Malcolm. Malcolm. I own this land. Fog came and I didn't leave. Started breathing it in deep. Made peace with it. <laughs> Some people in Far Harbor would like to settle here. Maybe 
you could share? Shea! Uh, this is my land! Keep the outsiders away! Oh! Ha! Let them come. Send them to me. <laughs> Send all of them to me. And then I'll hunt them, salvage their gear, cut the meat, then toss the remains for the fog. What do you say? Got caps. Make it worth your while. Take the caps. Take the caps is the good one? No. No deal here. Let's say you're a cannibal. You're eat them? Uh, belly gets awful empty in the fog. To me, their meat, your meat, all of us are. I won't be party to murder. <laughs> well, I got no use for you. On the upside, that's gonna leave one hell of a scar. <laughs> well, he'll clean you up at some point. And let's see, mutt fruit, take more stuff, bread box. Am I overloaded? Tch, just a little. Oh, all we have to do is fast travel, anywho. Actually, let's take the, uh, the Dalton Farm route back. Lighten the load. Ah, the harvester's a ripper. Yeah. Well, here we are at level 71, and I have a feeling we're about to be level 72. Yep, yep, yep. Soon as the screen loads, and we get to talk to Small Bertha. Anytime now. Yeah. That should be the last of the extended missions here. As far as what determines what happens at the end game. What are you looking at? The others think I'm nuts to be fishing in this dock. But one day, the big one will be mine. You'll see. We're depending on you. We got nowhere else to go. I cleared the lumber mill for you. We gotta go see the captain. Here's the pay. I don't care if you don't want it. People keep leaving the island. Is that a but now that there's land, land to call their own. They'll come back. My friends have already sent word. Thirty We're going years. To turn back the tide. So You'll see. Like you? Bertha. Excuse me, ma'am. Smalls, we got no time. For you. The mainlander cleared out Echo Lake Lumber Mill. Whatever you're talking about isn't as important as what Bertha's got to say. We gotta get off the docks, Captain. If you give us some of those Acadian fog condensers, my friends are ready to homestead the lumber mill. Surviving is about more than taming fog. We gotta stay together, Bertha. But we're no good here. Harbormen need their own land. Something to protect and hold. I was wrong about you. What? Not you. You. Bertha knows this island better than you, Avery. We give folks some condensers, materials, and a chance to build defenses. And we'll survive, all right? And thrive, even. I can lend a hand, too. You would? Well, then their odds are sure to be better. Give them the fog condensers, Avery. Well, I, I won't stop you, but... Until we deal with the children of Adam, settling the island again, it could blow up in your face. Come, Bertha. You might want to check up on Echo Lake. Bertha's friends would no doubt welcome you. And take this. You never cease to amaze. Great shop's got everything you need. Seventy-two. Is that your loved ones with my fine hand cannon? Talk to Captain Avery. 
The Mariner can stop at the hall any time. Avery. Nice to see you again. Everything's relatively quiet for once. You need something? Um. Mr. Lee's lined me up a deal. More than enough cats to get off this cursed island. No, I'll be going. Bye then. I don't know what the heck though. That's just now we're on to the next thing. Well, I'm not. I'm not in the mood to approach that till I get everything else. I got all the other information. Till I have the rest of Dima's memory. I'm keep playing everything close to the vest. So we go back to Echo Lake Lumber and let's build a whole bunch of defenses. You don't need to watch any of that. We can we can build this sucker up and let you see how it goes. Well, you see what it looks like, hopefully in the daytime, though. If it ever loads. Daytime? No, nope, rad storm. Of course it's a rad storm. It's always a rad storm. Okay. Defense is zero, food zero, water is zero. Alright, we need to do something here. Hey, settler, guess what? You, sir, are a supply line heading back to... Where the heck is it? Dalton Farm. That makes a lot of things possible. Okay, so we've got some fog condensers there. It's a good amount of room. Scrap the truck. Scrap some wood. Like I said, I'm not gonna go. I'm thinking. Scrap a flatbed. Yeah, that's a good plan. Another flatbed. Another truck. And we now you have a huge build area here. Can we do any of the? Scrap the barn. There's a lot we can do here. Yes, I like I like my odds here. What do you think? Another kind of square concrete kind of thing like I did with the other ones? Going straight up. I don't know, at least three stories. Four stories would be better. Yeah, I think I think this will will do well here. Over here you got what looks like mostly concrete, not as good a plantable dirt, although that could be plantable. But this looks eminently plantable. It's, it's dirt dirt. Yeah, I think we I think this will do well. And we could always do a rooftop uh, kind of thing, a living roof kind of deal. Catch up with me later. Oh come on, this is just it's interesting. This time I had a little trouble getting them to snap really the way I wanted them to. Interesting. I have to do something a little creative here. Oh, maybe that's it. I gotta say, of all the uh, cellars, this one seems to have the most scrappable debris. Like you have to really look for some of it. There's a lot. I thought it's not. Like this this stuff I can't do anything with. That's weird. Hopefully the dead bodies will go away at some point. You do have a lot of useful room. Where you could, you know, the beds and stuff. Of course, I had to do uh, my own thing here. We're still building our way up. But because of the new barn construct, a lot of the side buildings. I was able to clear entirely. A lot of room here. And it's going to be radioactive soon. Which is okay, of course. There's the bus!
What's interesting is that I, I had this to almost full size, not quite. And it looked like it was full size. You can't anywhere right now just by clearing more stuff from here. I've been able to bring it back down that far, so that's deep. I'll just do that little trick that we always do. And I'm going. I did have some problems because of the curvature of the ground or something here, where it wouldn't place all of the uh, foundations exactly where I wanted them, and I could not get the walls to to, to snap I've to the foundations. A Valentine Detective Agency sign or an eyesore, but they sure bring in the business. Okay, I don't know what that means. In this context. So, I just put it up one floor above where I normally do. Okay, we're outside the building right here. Yeah. I know, tire walls are useful defense, but they're also rubber. They always use rubber. Is it possible that I'll level right on this piece? Come on. That doesn't fit. What? Come on. Yes, it does. Come on. reason it can't fit if this one fit. Oh, that wall's off a little bit. Alright, let's move it. Let us... Make sure that gets snapped right in the way in. How is this off? How? <sighs> Alright, we move all the walls. I thought I lined everything up like I did all the other floors. Why well, I have this gap? That... I mean, that fits. So... Madness. And that's nothing else to do but cheat. Well, not technically cheating, but... Okay, I did this trick once. And as you'll see, I went from an almost completely full-sized uh, dealio here, full-sized element, to where now the size is almost down to half. So we're going to do this again. I've done this in other videos, but it's worth it's worth watching this again, in case you don't know it. And again, uh, this is bypassing a safety feature in the settlements so that you don't have too many polygons for your system. So if things crash after you do this and build and build and build and things get crazy. Um, then you have to realize that's one of the side effects. So let's get the stuff back out here. These are the weapons I just stored in here. I'm gonna not take everything. That we don't want to do the we don't want to do the grenades or the, the really small stuff because that becomes problematic. Take as much stuff as you can here. Skip the cryo mines. Touch it. Not the knuckles. They're a little hard to see too. Grabbed all the pretty much all the weapons I could out of uh, that I'd stored in, in Dalton. I, you'll notice I took all my good stuff, my actual weapons that I carry. I left them back at Dalton no Farm, just so I don't lose one of them on the ground here. There's still so, someone alive under all that gear? No, not really. So now here's what you do: you go over someplace where the ground is pretty clear, where you can see what's going on. That's pretty close over here. And then you drop everything. And I'll tell you what the main reason with this many weapons, it's just funny to watch this happen. Dropping, 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 dropping. Papoom! Which that's ridiculous. No one can carry this much stuff. But 
I'm not playing on survival mode, so it all works. Now, you go back in to the workshop mode. Now, watch what happens to the size as I store these in the workshop. See it going down? And the longer the name on something, the, you know, or the more complicated the item is, then the more benefit you get from it. Some of the stuff is minuscule, you don't really see it very much, but it does add up, to my knowledge. I mean, like this marksman's hair trigger, that's going to really move the needle. The missile launcher, short pipe rifle, but the do do do. Again, obviously, you, you could lose stuff here in the leaves pretty easily. And I've tried where I've, I've built floors underneath it. I have you accidentally picked something up. But you can take out the floors pretty handily, too. And this, and that, and this, and that. If you get them piled up nice, then it helps. Yeah, grabbed them. I didn't mean to grab the plasma mine, but yeah, it happens. And it's a little time consuming, a little annoying, but. You can get a big hit off of the high speed shredding minigun. That's pretty big. Lots of stuff, but you can see, look, look, look what's happened to the size of the encampment here. It is going down to nothing, practically. That's just a function of me hitting enter instead of tab for as it's getting out of sync. Now, do we have anything else left on the ground, which is easy to do? Okay, I don't think so. Or wait, what was that? That was Nick. So I'm just gonna grab something here, just to just to have, in case uh, in case something attacks. So I get back to Dalton. Compensate powerful pipe is now new. Compensate hard element. That's good enough for right now. Just to have a gun on me. And now we'll get back to work. Okay, just another quick test here to see how high can you go. This is it. This is as high as I can make that tower. So, again, probably around 10 stories, something like that. Double where I'm at now. More than double. This is a high skybox, folks. Let your dreams grow. Okay, we've got the first floor pretty well set up. They've got storage, they've got all kinds of beds, we've got some decorations on the walls here. Um, put a Brotherhood flag up just to keep demon in line. A couple of, you know, things mounted. And, uh, looking good, looking good. We got it lit. Pop the door open here. Uh, it's a rad storm. That's always. Interesting point. Now, let's see here. Now, because this is sealed up... Inventory. Um, let's go to apparel. Switch back to my dirty army fatigues. Do I take any rads here? There's a storm outside. No! Very good! Now, it looks like I've at least done it the right way at once. We have several floors of this, because I've got 52 beds here. Which should be enough for now, considering there's four people. And uh, we're going to build all of it up like this. The other, uh, we can 
Let's see, let's put our, our rad suit on again, just because this is a, the rad storms seem more frequent here in Far Harbor. And hazmat suit. Did it stop? Now, I, I, at a Dalton farm, I used internal stairway simply because that way you could go upstairs without being out in the radiation, but I found it really compromised the usability of the space. So in this uh, effort, because I had a little bit more flat land to work with, I put them outside. And uh, it's a six to one half dozen of another kind of thing. Now this one I've already got the, the counters and the, the beds in, but I don't have it lit, I don't have it decorated. And you keep going up and up and up. I've been told the Valentine Detective Agency signs are an eyesore, but they sure bring in the business. Yeah, you said that before, in this video. Um, this room's a little bit smaller because of my haphazard method of design, where I kind of just go stepping things in, but then I expanded it on the next level. And this gives us a little bit more room out here, in case I want to have some outdoor stuff, like, you know... And this is where things stopped lining up, so I said, well, the heck with it for now. But I'm really planning on taking this as high as I can, so this is going to be a work in progress for some time. But for the time being, as far as the main structure is concerned, uh, they have what they need. And we're looking at, everything should be green here now. Defense is 527, which you'd think would be enough, but probably isn't. Because this is a nasty place. 52 beds, 400 power, 200 water, 5 food. Well, the food's driven by uh, how many people here. I'm going to lay down a whole lot more food over here. And let me get on that. We'll get the food laid out. We'll get the uh, get some stores put up. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put those yet. But you'll see in a moment. Huh. I almost lost a recoil compensated overcharged plasma scatter gun. By the way, doing this is just a great way. Putting lots of food down, it's a great way of leveling up because you're going to get more food just from the food you're putting down, and you're getting six you know, XP every time you hit, every time it goes click. And yes, this is completely haphazard. The word of the day is haphazard. Food. Check. Well, now we've got just another point defense gun here for the heck of it. You got a bunch of guns up there. We've got a whole restaurant area here. With an actual person at the restaurant. We're gonna get people for the clinic. Over here in front of the signs, our shopping district, general trader, clothing, armor, and weapons. And, you know, there's a lot of things I think I can do to, uh, to improve as far as, like, more defense. We're going to get more defense. 500-some defense is a lot, but this is a hostile place. We've got, I think, 21. Is that what I counted? 1, 2, 3... There, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 23? Okay, so 23 scrap stations going on here. Unless I counted that wrong. In which case, you know, leave a comment in the description if you realize I can't count. And we haven't even done a whole lot with this building except scrap stuff out of it, but there's a lot of potential here. And, of course, we've got enough food. The food will grow exponentially with the people. And uh, all we really need is some workshop stuff to make it, you know, and the workshop stuff is mostly for me. But, uh, so we need some workshop stuff. I need some more aluminum to pull that off. I could use a decontamination arch. need some aluminum to pull that off. But as far as the settlement is concerned... Um, we got four people, six food, so that's more than enough, and that'll keep growing. 200 water? Yeah, I think that should be adequate. 
400 power? Yeah, as long as everything's lit green, then you have enough power. 532 defense? Well, it'll slow stuff down, depending on what kind of fog crawler crawls out of the mist. 52 beds? Good enough for now. Happiness is on the rise 56%. I think we're going to call this good. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night. Okay, so I guess I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing. <laughs>